wanted to find Rudolf, we went to Siberia. I braved minus 30 degree temperatures to visit northern Russia because this is a place where reindeer are an integral part of the lives of the local people. I'd arrived at a time of celebration. It was the beginning of the reindeer season, a time of plenty for the local Levenk tribe, which they mark by holding reindeer festivals. <laughs> then, with my welcome over, it was time for the best bit of any festival, the eating and drinking. Russian vodka. Russian vodka. Russian vodka. Vodka. Russian vodka. Then I had my first taste of Siberian reindeer. This is uh, <coughs> it's marrow bone, so it's the marrow from inside the bone, the shin, the lower leg, from the reindeer they've killed. Exotic. Mm. It's delicious. It's very rich. It's very rich. It's rich and fatty. Next on the menu, reindeer kidney. <laughs> ah, okay. It's like aphrodisiac for Aphrodisiac? Oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, kidney. Oh. I don't care if that's an aph aphrodisiac or not. It tastes fantastic. <laughs> aphrodisiac. I don't want to be in here in a minute. She's eating a whole raw, raw kidney. <laughs> <laughs> Needing to cool down a little, I headed back into the snow and found yet more reindeer concoctions. You look over here. Come on. Uh, thank you. Reindeer tea. Kind of refined upmarket cup of soup. Then, with a skin full of vodka and a belly full of reindeer, it was time for a bit of a dance. But I still had a worry. You know, these people live with reindeer, so they eat the reindeer, they wear the reindeer, they eat the reindeer as their transport. They love their animals, they love the reindeers. Their whole lives intertwined with reindeer. Well, that's not the case in Britain. And I'm sorry, but I, I just couldn't bring myself to cook Santa's little helper. It just didn't seem right. I had to come up with another solution, so for that, I headed to a reindeer farm. On this farm, the reindeer are raised like cattle, but with temperatures reaching minus 60 at times, they're a little tougher than the average Frisian. This particular farm had over a thousand reindeer in their herd. This is amazing. Like we spent five hours getting here and talking about being off the beaten track. It was three hours of one road. And um, seeing this, it's all completely worth it. Now, the interesting thing I've learned is the reindeers with the big antlers are the females. The males are the ones predominantly with our antlers. What's amazing is the reindeer is completely interwoven with people's lives over here. Uh, it's what they live off. I can't kill Santa's little helper from a Christmas lunch, but I do have an idea. Reindeer milk. Mm -hmm. No, okay. 
Closer to, closer yeah. to reindeer. Well, I can't see the teeth. Mm. Okay. Well, I'm milking myself around it. Never thought I'd see the day. It's so cold here, it's frozen. Like the nice, I should pull the hair out first. Mm. It's incredibly rich. It's, it's kind of like a, it's just a really creamy cow's milk. Apparently, frozen reindeer milk is quite a big thing around here. I can see why. It actually tastes delicious. This might have just given me an idea. I've got the milk. Now all we've got to do is get home. <laughs> For me at Christmas, the most exciting time of the day is breakfast. So, the idea was to use the reindeer milk and turn it into breakfast. <laughs>